Josh Moody, and this is Strangle School. While you guys are stuck at home, trying to make it through the pandemic, I'm here with my buddy Mike. And we're snapping legs today. Tune in. My shin is going to go straight across to his same side hamstring. I'm going to gather his knee up. His ankle's going to go to my armpit. I'm going to step the other foot. And I really want to put my foot on his rib cage as I fall to the ground. I'm using my hand behind his knee to control his leg. I'm trying to grab the tendons of his knee and suck them into me and to keep this position. I'm going to touch my knee to my heel to keep him from coming any closer to me, sitting up and hand fighting me. Okay? It's very important. So my foot is on his hip, almost kicking him in the belly, and I take my knee and I cover my heel. Now, I'm going to wrap around his ankle, okay? I'm getting an overhook on his ankle. And I want to put my thumb right past his Achilles, and my hand is going to go on my belly. So my foot's on his hip, my knee is touching my heel. I'm going to plant on the ground, and I'm going to hop my left elbow backwards until my left shoulder hits the mat. Bop. 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 All the way till my shoulder hits the ground. I'm gonna look over my left shoulder. I'm gonna roll my shoulder back. I roll my shoulder back. My left shoulder rolls back. And I'm gonna drive my hips through his leg. So rather than attacking a traditional straight ankle lock, uh, where I'm straightening out his leg, and I'm trying to, Try to attack the big part of his ankle, okay? Like the tendons that connect to his big toe. I'm actually trying to bend his foot and attack the little tendons on the outside and the little bones on the outside of his ankle, okay? So what I'm doing when I hop my elbow back is I'm rotating his foot around the corner. And now instead of feeling a straight ankle lock, it's actually gonna feel a lot more like a toe hold. But guys, just remember, when the referee asks, Straight ankle lock. So, I'm approaching his guard. I'm trying to pass that guard. I step in for a straight hamstring. My shin goes to his hamstring. Okay? I'm going to scoop this knee towards me. I'm going to step forward. And as I sit to my butt, my foot goes in front of his hip. And my knee touches my heel. My hands are on the tendons in the back of his knee, and I'm rotating his knee to my hip, my elbow to my hip, so that he can't run away. Okay? I'm going to scoop back, I'm going to bring his foot up into my armpit, and my thumb goes right past his Achilles. My hand goes on my belly. Okay? I'm going to post on the floor, I'm going to use that hand to help me walk my elbow back in a circle. One, two, three, four, all the way until my shoulder can hit the mat. Now I turn and I look over that shoulder. I roll my shoulder back. I roll my left shoulder back and I drive my hips forward. For a nasty, nasty straight ankle lock. And you see I don't even need two hands for it. That's the straight foot lock here on Strangle School. Thanks for checking it out. Believe that shit. I don't like it. We're not doing an outro. I already got one. Thanks for swinging through Strangle School. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This time and every time, thank you for being here.